I'm gonna show you guys how to make quick and easy mask in Vegas Pro. And honestly, this doesn't just work on Vegas Pro, it works on any supported editing software that has voice effects silhouette. So let's get started. So to start off, I'm gonna be speaking specifically for Vegas Pro. You're going to need your project and your preview resolution to be the exact same. Otherwise, it's gonna ha have some issues and you don't want that. So for me, I have 1440p here. To change your project resolution, just go to the top and you could see those little presets at the top. Just change those. And once those are matching, I'm just gonna show you here. So this top layer is my footage and the layer right under that is a white solid layer. So after we get the mask working, we should see our character running over a white background. Let's apply silhouette onto our footage and open the silhouette interface. Once it's loaded, you'll see this little dialog. Just click create project. And on the right side, you'll see the, the node tree. So here it automatically applied the roto node because we selected that as our default reset, but that's not what we're going to use right now. So let's just remove that node. And the main node we're looking at is mask ML. So this is a new node from silhouette 2024.5. And once you have that applied, you're going to have to go into a pretty clear frame where you see the subject that you're trying to mask out. For me, I'm just going to go in the very beginning. And when you go on the preview, you're going to want to click and create a dot and at the bottom right you'll notice it says loading ml model just let this do its thing it depends on your gpu the stronger gpu you have the faster it'll be and you may be wondering what just happened after you made that little point well you're gonna have to enable the alpha channels so to do that just use the letter a on your keyboard and also rotate through the alpha channels but now i have my entire subject masked out and you'll notice that on the timeline if you drag the cursor at any point away from your keyframe that you just created with the mask ml node You'll notice that it's not masking as it plays. It's only masking the keyframe that you made. Now to fix that, we have another node over here called Matte Assist ML. Now you also want to transfer the keyframing data from your Mask ML into Matte Assist ML, which is that yellow output right there. And you'll notice Mask ML immediately starts functioning and as you play the video, you will see that Matt Assist ML will try to use the keyframing information from Mask ML and create a continuous mask throughout the entire video. Now, there is another node that we could use. It's called Easy Mask. And this is pretty similar to the Roto Brush from After Effects. I forgot what it's called in DaVinci Resolve, but they also have something very similar. So you basically just draw on your subject in green. If you hold right click, you will get red outline instead. So the red means it's not going to track that. And then the green is where you want it to mask. So I'm just gonna do a quick little outline. As you can see, like you don't need to be accurate. I did a very rough outline. And it's the same thing with um, the mask ML here. So it will mask out the first keyframe that you did. So wherever you did that on the timeline, it will only be on that keyframe. So we're gonna need to use Matt Assist ML again to mask out throughout the entire video. Now what I recommend to do, I would recommend to actually play through the entire footage to make sure obviously the mask is correct but also to cache all your frames into your RAM. Now this would just make it easier to play back in the future. And here you go, if we change through the alpha channels again, you'll see it did a really good job, honestly, on his first attempt. That's basically all, all you have to do. So make sure you save your silhouette project and then close out of the interface and it'll load you back into Vegas Pro. Um, and as you can see on the preview, it says no node is selected. So what you have to do is go into the render on the settings here and go to output cut out. Now, as you can see, there you go. We have our easy, simple mask. And as I was saying, we should see our mask on top of a white background because that's what I got on the layer underneath. Real quick, I wanted to mention, as I was saying, you need your project and preview resolution to match. So the moment you change your preview resolution, the entire mask is going to go away. It's still there, but it's not going to show until you match your preview and project resolution. So as you see, I'm going to change it back to 1440p here and you'll see that the mask comes back. And that's just something important to keep in mind. And another thing I wanted to mention, so if your subject has like hair or any fine details, like over here on mine, there's like a headset wire and stuff and you want to get that inside your mask, we're going to have to mess with the node tree a little bit and add some few more nodes. So the first one we're going to add is tri map. And also, if you guys didn't know, if you hold, if you press tab on the node tree on the right side, you'll be able to search up any node that you want. So we need TriMap and we're going to connect that to our Matt Assist ML at the very bottom from the output. And then we need another node called PowerMat. So I'm going to place that over here in the bottom left. And you'll notice PowerMat has a lot more inputs than the other nodes that we have. So we're going to need the input of our 
raw footage. So over here, if you go to the output line from our input footage, if you press Alt, you'll see your cursor changes to a little plus sign. You'll be able to make a little dot on the line. And then from here on the power map node, we will be getting the first green input and put our raw footage into that. And now we are going to take the output from TriMap. Remember that comes from our from our mat assist ml and put it into the tri map input on power map now you're going to want to select the power map node and go into the settings at the bottom right now you want to change the auxiliary tri map on the drop down just select your tri map right there and then also make sure to connect the output into your output node as well so this is our final note here right here um it looks a little complicated at first but honestly after you do it a few times it's not that hard but now what we want to do is refine the tri map to work with the power map we need to change the settings on the tri map and also preview the power map at the same time so to do this so if you select the tri map node and then you'll see a little like monitor icon on the left side of each node if you select the monitor of power map it'll change to the output of the power map so you'll be adjusting the tri map but you'll be previewing the power map so now if you just change the parameters at the bottom right for tri map you'll be able to see that it is doing an insane job at finding the details within our character here. It's actually getting the wires of the headset um, on our character here. And if you just mess with the settings a little bit, just see what looks the best for your shot. And, and that's really it. And if you look through the alpha channels, you'll see that it does a pretty, pretty good job. And that's about it for this tutorial. Honestly, this is really big for Vegas Pro because for the longest time, we've never had a quick auto masking option until recently. We've had another option through Mocha Pro. There was like magnetic splines and you could track the splines on the character, but it really wasn't that efficient because manually rotoscoping a character out or a subject out just took so much work. And if you compare Vegas Pro to After Effects, to DaVinci Resolve, to Nuke, obviously, like they have easy masking options and Vegas Pro for the longest time just hasn't had one. So this is pretty big news, especially for me. I'm a Vegas Pro editor, so I just wanted to share this around to hopefully get the word out.